Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new point of view by Linea Pelle Fair. We are here with Montana Conceria and welcome to Silvia Stricchi, which is today with us talking about vegetable leather. Hello, everybody. Hi, Silvia. So welcome, because I know that you have some very special insights about vegetable tan leather. And I also like to uh, share with our visitors that you are the king of vegetable tan leather. So can you share some secret with us? <laughs> sure, I'd be very happy to do that. Um, okay, so the first uh, secret I would like to share with you is uh, the sound of our vegetable leather. Um, in the very old times, um, in the 50s, when uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the tanneries, uh, um, the first tanneries uh, were born, and uh, Montana is uh, around that date, anyway, after the, uh, in the decades, <laughs> uh, many decades ago. Um, so people came to uh, the tannery and the question about the vegetable leather was uh, does the leather sing? Because if it sings, it means that this is vegetable. Otherwise, it's not real. I mean, it's something else. So uh, people came and what they wanted to listen to was this sound. Wow. Can you hear that? So and strong. It's, yeah, it's very special um, sound, which is typical of 100% vegetable damage. And this is one of the characteristics of our vegetable and leather, uh, which recalls, anyway, to the natural sound of nature. <laughs> um, the second aspect um, is the smell, which is really uh, something which makes the vegetable leather distinguishable from all other leathers. So the smell, mm, it's something which recalls to my um, memory when I was a child. And I remember I went to the old um, shops, um, uh, the shoe shops, uh, where you could feel and smell this uh, very particular um, country smell. Uh, what you smell in the um, farms, so the old shoes of the farmers, um, or the um, saddle, the horse saddle. So some, something which recalls to the uh, countryside. And so these two aspects are um, given by uh, a special component of the vegetable sandwich, which is the tannin. So um, I would like to show you these um, these tenants because maybe not I mean, it's not very common to uh, to see this. And these are powders extracted by um, tree. Um, here we have chestnut, uh, mimosa, and oaks. Oh. Um, so these are extracted by the roots and the uh, barks of these trees, and they are in powder. And this powder is used in the uh, in the damage to uh, give both the smell, the hand feel, the sound, together mm -hmm. with the uh, vegetable oils and the um, animal oils. And this is something completely natural. It's not chemical at all, so it's not dangerous. So this is, um, I mean, for us, it's 
it was very simple to make this choice because um, vegetable leather is really this real sustainable leather. It's uh, metal free, metal free since ever, um, with very low water consumption, um, with low CO2 consumption. And tanning, for example, is a recycling from the um, wood industry. Um, so, and leather is also a recycling from the food industry. So our processes are completely sustainable and uh, we like to define our leathers, um, our vegetable leathers completely compatible with the environment. Um, the, for example, yeah, the, the tannin is also used in the, um, in the wine. Uh, so whoever drinks a very good wine, in Tuscany we have splendid wines, <laughs> uh, well known all over the world. So when you smell a good glass of wine, you can, um, you can, you can feel this, you can smell. And it's, so, it's the same um, very natural flavor. All these elements which recalls to the Tuscany tradition. Wow, so I so attracted by what you were saying from sound to smelling, which I really want to describe the emotion that I received just listening to you, which I can imagine just having the letter in your hand, in front of your face. And I also assume one part that in this case, sustainability for a vegetable town letter, it's also an upcycling and a circular uh, movement. And what about the trees where you you are taking the tanning uh, powder what about the recycling all the process of course it's all a recycling process uh it's absolutely not uh killing a tree <laughs> just to take the uh, extract or the same thing as like killing the animals or killing the, the, the cattle, the cows, which is absolutely not true. You know, this is a mystification of, of this, um, right. this word, leather word. So we only use the waste. Uh, everything which comes from the food industry, so from the, uh, uh, or from the tree industry, so we use the um the waste uh from the timber industry so um that's why it's uh, completely um it, it, it's a recycle it's a circular recycling great great really interesting to know from the meat industry is a recycled part from the timber industry is another recycled part so all the elements together merge let me say that thanks so much, Silvia, because now we know more and I, I wish that every visitor can, can meet you in person in Lina Perle Fair and a new point of view. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rita.